Today at Blade HQ, we're taking a look at the entire Leatherman line. There's, there's a lot of cool features. There's cool features and there's nuances to each one of them. It's true. They've really put a ton of time and energy into engineering these really well. What is up guys? Today at Blade HQ, we're taking a look at the entire Leatherman line. Most of it, that is. We're gonna be looking at tons of Leathermans. I've got Mote here with us today. Tim Mote, if you don't know how to spell his name, it's on his shirt. Right there. Bam, mm -hmm. convenient. So before we get into this guys, a couple things. First of all, we got Leatherman flight tags. So now is a fine time to buy Leatherman. This comes with any Leatherman order, $25 or over, while supplies last. Now, let's get into it, Mote. Yeah. We're gonna start off with Leatherman's bestseller of all time, the Leatherman Wave. Now, the thing about this one, you got a bunch of tools on the inside, you got pliers, not replaceable, um, what do they call those? Wire cutters? Wire cutters, yeah. yep. But a uh, bunch of tools on the inside, and then we're just gonna close those up. We'll have a list of tools. Where should we put the list of tools, over here? All right, we'll do it. I like that. Somewhere in there. And then on the outside, so there's a couple different types of Leathermans out of the gate. There are tools, there are Leathermans with tools on the outside and there are tools on the inside. Sure. Cool thing about Leatherman Wave, you got tools on the outside. So you got a serrated, you got a file right here, then you got your plain edge knife as well as a saw right there. Most popular, and I think part of the reason it's most popular of all time, $89.95. It's a solid tool. Solid tool. Bam, like there it. it is, Mote. I like it. I like the locks on the outside as well. Yeah, that's that's the other nice thing on that one. Some of these have slip joint tools. Um, these ones on the Leatherman Wave are all locking tools. So even on the inside. So that one's that one's a liner lock, Mote. Oh hey, look at that. I'm training you, man. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> so if you open it up, no, open up the whole tool. Oh okay, we're gonna try this again. Okay, Sorry. okay. So now open up one of the tools on the inside. Okay, one of these little guys. Yeah, take your pick, anyone. Bam, it, it locks is. in place with that lock on the back. So and there's our lock. There's our lock on the back. Disengage right there. it. Sorry. Bam. Bear paws are just in the way. No, everywhere. no, no, it's good. So yeah. that's the Leatherman Wave. It's the best seller of all time for Leatherman. Now, it comes with a bigger brother, and it comes with a titanium brother. The bigger brother is the Leatherman Surge, right there. Size comparison, perhaps? I like that. Here, you, you Here, go I'll big pause. Yeah, I'll go little pause. Our that? goal today was to try and not cut ourselves with these. Absolutely. So, Bam. Size comparison right there. Yeah. You got the surge on the left, the wave on the right. My right, that is. Your like left. It. So, nice thing about that one, you got that big, uh, and both of these actually have the, the rulers on the edges of it. A lot of tools on it. A lot of them only go up to one inches, though, right? Some. These ones are big, though. This, okay. this has centimeters and inches on it. And the cool thing about the Surge as well, replaceable wire cutters. Do you see that right there? It's a nice feature. Yeah. I don't cut that much wire, but I think if you were using this on a day-to-day -day basis, it's a nice tool. And then we have our knives on the yep. outside. It's our traditional. Same thing as the Wave, just bigger. Look at that. that, look at that. Oh yeah. Just a little bigger. Yeah. Not much. It's still pretty friendly. I like that. What else we got here? Skizzers, man. Oh, the, sk oh, the giant skizzers. Skizzers! Yeah, serious scissors. I told Ben when it comes to things, I think I've cut myself on these more than anything else when it comes to a Leatherman or a Swiss Army knife. Because it's a little unpredictable, perhaps? Yeah. I yeah. feel like, I mean, I can't even operate a liner lock, let alone, you know. You, you typically carry a frame lock, right? I do. Yeah. It's just, it's better for my hands. I like it. Okay, so Wave, Surge, and then they have a titanium little brother. I'm just gonna pick this up very delicately. <laughs> <laughs> you guys so have good. no idea. We were like, we're like, what's the best way to show these? We'll show oh. them open first. Yeah. And the thing about that is like, you have all these tools open on the table. It's crazy. Knife safety. We're we're real big on. Safety we are. Right here. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. We need hard hats. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> safety first. Okay. The handles on this guy, titanium. That's cool. So you got a bunch of tools on the inside, scissors, replaceable bit there, and then. Nice thing about this one too, you got wire strippers there. Yeah. So you got your wire cutters, wire strippers, needle nose, and then on the outside, bam, you got a lot of tools on the outside as well. You've got, and I think this is a cool little feature, serrated blade there with your uh, seatbelt cutter. So if you were using this, 
in your car, your truck, whatever. Nice to have it there. It has some cool texturing on it too. It does. On the outside, right? Yeah. Yep. You got a saw. You got S30V blade on this. Now that's one thing Leatherman has been criticized in the past for not making very good blade steels. I think that's a cool improvement there on this knife. S30V for you knife snobs out there, which we know you are. All of them. All of them. So pretty cool tool. And then those are locking on the inside too. So that whole family, the interior tools lock, which I think is pretty cool. And then you've got a lot of exterior tools that you can play with. So there's that. Now. Let's dive into kind of your everyday carry options. What do we got here, Mote? Um, this is a test, man. What? I can't remember. No, you now. can't read now it. Just out. You can't no, read no. it. You can't oh read my gosh. it. <laughs> it's a Leatherman tool. It's Let's a, just go it's with the Wingman. It's a Wingman. Uh, we were actually looking at these earlier. These are pretty cool. I like. I know that I have big hands. You do. But there's actually some substantial like frame going on here, so I actually kind of like it. But it same do thing. You want to hold it here? Yeah, let's here, catch. I thought Ben was gonna be my Vanna White for a little bit. So, <laughs> no, I don't want to be know. Vanna White. Uh, we got our skizzers. We got the uh, regular knife blade with serrations on it, which is kind of cool. Um, and then we have a bottle opener here with another little. What, what did we determine that was for? The little cutter. Uh, that's a that's a can opener. A can opener. Yeah, that's there a can we go. Uh, yep. Another. Wait, no, that that cut. Hold on, hold on. Let's show these good people. Okay, sorry. Which one do you want to know? That's yep. this one right here was our opener. That's a can opener and our bottle opener. And that thing we just clam pack opener. clam pack opener. That's right. Because that is a modern problem. If if you don't know how to use it. Yeah, I guess I don't know. Ben was showing it to me, and I was just like, I thought that's what we had knives for, but you know. Well, you got I, both. It's conventional. I mean, it's yeah, nice to have. It's, it is. It's always good to have options. Uh, and then we have another. It's a uh, we have a little measuring device over here. This is where I was talking about Ben to yeah, Ben with see, this is. If you're looking at the wave, the wave has this whole ruler across the back of it, right here. Whereas this guy has one inch. Yeah. So if you're catching fish with this guy, <laughs> you either catch a one inch fish or you lay it out and mark it. Yeah. All the way down. I think that's the ideal fisherman's tool because then you can just guesstimate how big your fish was. I like that. Yeah. That's smart. So that's you're not smart. really lying. You just <laughs> don't have the instrument to measure with. That's smart. Um, let's see. We're going to close here, here, that Before set. you close okay. it, let's let's do this, Mote. Oh, we're getting wild here. This is this is really wild. So the wingman and the sidekick, very similar tools, but they have a couple of subtle differences. I don't know what they are. What are they? Um, let's see here. Do you have our measuring device? Price. I think it's a $10 price right. difference. Do you have a clam pack opener on that one? No, no clam pack opener on this guy. I don't have the, uh, what else have you got? I don't, I don't have, have the skizzers. And I don't have a saw. Wait, do I have a saw? I don't have a saw. You don't have a saw. So okay. similar tools, they're both spring-loaded pliers, but uh, the wingman has more tools than the sidekick. Well, something else we figured out, which is good to know, and I can't remember if it was on this set, but if there's a lock on them, right, you have to, it only engages when there's one piece open rather yeah, than all of them. That's true. So the, so the tools, we showed you on the Wave that those tools are locking. These are slip joint tools. So there is no lock on them. Does that make sense? Yeah, give me a, give me a thumbs up in the comments yeah. if that makes sense. Do it! Was that handle contoured? Uh, this handle is... This one has a little bit of yeah, contour a little bit of contour to it. Yeah, which is nice. That is nice. And you know, it's funny because we were, we were talking about the old Leathermans. Leathermans? Leatherman? Yeah. What's the what's the plural? I'm uh, gonna go leather men's. Leather men? Leather men. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. We're talking about the old ones and how the old ones just they weren't very round, kind of uh, angular corners on it. I feel like the newer editions, they've really kind of worked in and granted it's like tons of tools, but it feels better in the hand than the originals. I agree with in that. In my mind. And we have pocket clips. Tons of pocket clips. And that's one thing I like about these two. These two have pocket clips. The whole wave surge. Charge series. Um, actually, I think these are some of the very few that have pocket clips. Um, so if you are looking to carry it as more of a pocket knife uh, multi-tool, I like that. I like it. It's a cool feature. But they're heavy. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm like a two, three ounce pocket knife kind of guy. And I like the bigger stuff. These things run in the seven, eight, nine ounce range yeah. as far as tools go. But you can always get them with a belt carry sheath. You too. can. And most of them do come with a belt carry sheath. You can get your, I believe it's a nylon version or a leather version. Yeah. The Absolutely. traditional leather, we all yep. remember those. Check it out on the website because it will list what kind of sheath it has. Okay, next up, this is not in Fancy's favorite, and I've seen a lot of guys EDC this guy. Uh, it's the Juice series. And basically, a lot of, lot of your everyday carry sort of tools, you got a Phillips on there, you got flat heads, you got a uh, bottle opener slash can opener, scissors, and a, a knife blade. Now, these are all slip joint tools, they don't lock in place. 
You also have your pliers there, not spring-loaded pliers. That's one thing I like about these guys. Spring-loaded, uh, man. But you don't like spring-loaded. I'm not. I feel like it's no, just... No, I, I dig it, man. I feel like there's like a greater that. chance for failure there. That's fair. Plus, I'm not, like, river rushing to take my pliers to something. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, maybe I haven't been put in the situation. I'm sure somebody yeah. will school me in the comments. Sure, sure. But I just, you know... But I, I do like that feature, whereas most of them are not spring-loaded. Juice, not spring-loaded at all. It's a cool pattern, though. And I like it the is. texture on the handle, too. I do, too. Kind of an organic yeah. pattern on the handle. It also has a little lanyard hole, so if you want to throw a loop on there, carry it that way. Now, I'm going to try to close this without cutting my hand off. Uh, I feel like we're getting in some uh, dangerous yep, territory that, right yep, now. Yep. Oh, oh, that first, that second. We should time ourselves. How fast can I, you close all of these? I feel like these? that's a bad idea. <laughs> Come on. I feel like it's a <laughs> Races, bad idea. Races, man. Races. If we're looking for that extra vacation time from workers' comp, I guess. That's right. That, but. That's right. Okay, so juice, compact, nice package. I yeah, like that. I like it. So, kind of yeah, cool. It really does shrink down to size, doesn't it? It does, yeah. yeah. Nice tool. So, also, guys, I'm not going to run through the entire thing here, but this is the one that's on sale. So, Leatherman discontinued this one a little while ago. Tons of tools. What were we talking about with this one before we turned the camera on? Do you remember, Mojo? Uh, we, we kind of said that it was similar to something like a Swiss Army knife yeah. of Leatherman. I mean, multiple tools. You can see all the various different things going on here. Um, something else that I've learned today, Ben was pointing out, that I didn't know. What's that for, Ben? That's, uh, that's a lanyard loop, man. Or you hang it on your... Hang it wherever you want. Like on your pegboard or something? Absolutely. Yeah, which yep. is cool. I think that's yep. that's definitely interesting. Um, same thing. We got a little bit of lime green going on here, which is kind of cool. But then we have multiple tools. I mean, they're Tons. just everywhere. It's and this guy is discontinued now, so if you like it, you better get it now. It is on sale. I think it's $69.99. Quote me if... Fix it if I'm wrong, Jamie. But uh, anyway, so the, the cool thing about this one, too, I think yeah. this is like a perfect truck knife. Throw it in your car. I feel like I'm going to um, cut myself. Here, we can just set it down, Mote. We're, no way. Or we I can got race. This. Do you want to race? We're Come not. On. Come on. <laughs> I hope someone out there in, <laughs> on the interwebs is listening to this. That way, when I do cut myself, I just blame it on Ben, even if it's my yeah, fault. Because I because I egged you on. Look at this, guys. Uh, they're going to light me up in these comments. They are. Okay, there we go. There it is. There, there it is. There we go. Gentle. Oh, my easy. goodness. There it is. Look at that. And we got a corkscrew opener. And a corkscrew for classy campers. See that? Yeah. Yeah. Just in case. Just in case. That's right. There it is, man. Juice. Okay, guys, we're going to do a quick commercial break, and we'll come back after the commercial break. We'll show you some more Leathermans. Guys, today we have the Houdini tool. This is basically an exit tool if you ever get in an emergency in your vehicle. It's got a strap cutter on it, seatbelt cutter, so that uh, has a back lock. As well, it has a glass breaker right there, and it's spring-loaded, so you press it up against the glass, give it a little push, and that spring will break the glass for you. The other thing it has is this little flashlight right here, activated with that button. Bam, shine it. Beautiful, stays on as well. Clip it to your visor, clip it to your pockets, however you like it. It's called the Houdini Tool. It's $22.95 on bladeshq.com. All right, and we're back with more Leatherman tools. What's what's next, Mote? Uh, right now we have the Super Tool. We talked about this a little bit earlier. It's pretty basic. Um, it, we talked about it being kind of reminiscent of like the basic Leatherman the original, The original, yeah, yeah that they had. Yeah. Uh, everything is internal. We have the basic functions. You have your saw, can opener, a Phillips, flathead, another saw. Well, we got two saw blades going on. Oh, a serrated no, no, knife serrated. and a saw blade. Serrated yeah, saw. look yep. at that. Um, you got your knife, some flatheads going on here, some file work. I mean, you it's got an all or yeah, a punch. An all, yeah. Yep. It's pretty basic. We also have replaceable cutters, though. Which I think is cool. So, so the rebar and the super tool, basically the same tool. One is bigger than the other. Yeah. But I do like that it's replaceable. And I also like, it's it's pretty intuitive. Some of these other ones, you got internal tools, you got external tools. It's kind of like hard to mentally map sure. what's where. These are all inside. So there's no question about how they work, where they are. Especially like the mutt tool. Tons of tools all over the place. Not very straightforward. I feel like these guys, pretty darn straightforward. This is more at my alley. Kind is of it? a simple functioning you tool. You like that? Yeah, I mean, I can't screw up a lock, look like an idiot on YouTube, kind of totally. things like that. Yeah, totally. I mean, it's, it's I get pretty it. simple, but I get it. the replaceable jaws I do like quite a bit. Do you? Yeah, I think it's it's a nice little touch, especially for something that, I mean, let's be real here. This is I feel like this is more of like your grandpa's tool. Like yeah, He didn't want to move away from carrying a pair of pliers in his pocket. Sure. But you get him this, and it's just the basic function, where if yeah. you gave him something like that, he'd be like, oh, this is too complicated. What am I doing? Yeah. yeah. So let me ask you this, Mote. Do you prefer having the external tools? Or do you like them all inside, compact, knowing exactly where they are? I think I like the inside feature. I mean, I like having that. 
as, I, as a variation, but... I, I sort of like that. I like yeah. being able to hit that fast, you I know? I get it. But at the same time, it adds a layer of complexity, like... Sure. Yeah, you know? Just more going on. Yeah, I think... I mean, I think my primary function, if I had a Leatherman and I was carrying it all the time, and I have, like, the micro versions, which we'll talk about later, but, I mean, it would be the pliers. Yeah. That's, you know, I got a knife for other things. I mean, yeah, sure. it's nice to have it, but at the same time, it's like... Who doesn't need a pair of pliers every now and then? So I have, a, I have an old Leatherman Blast I take camping all the time. The thing I use more than anything, the saw. That's no interesting. Kidding. Yeah. Wow. It's like, just, I don't know, you got a tree branch in the way when you're camping or whatever. Huh. I use the saw. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. I'm being honest, but that's Because that's cool you think about it, you got a knife. The pliers, maybe I'll use them here or there, but I have a squirt, so I use a squirt all the time. Oh, I gotcha. But uh, the saw is like the reason I take that, that Leatherman with me, which hmm. is totally strange. But it works. Yeah. So. And we have a full size, well, not full yeah. size, but a bigger ruler. Yeah. So that's kind of nice to have. That is nice. In metric and inches. Yeah. So. Okay, the next one, feat of engineering in my mind. This is called the crunch. That one's impressive. And uh, basically a vice set of pliers here. Vice grip. Vice grip, yep. Uh, you got a couple tools there, not a ton of tools, pretty lightweight on this guy. And then we'll get him in there, but uh, oh, let me get this right here. Hang oh, on. and they're adjustable. They are. So that's the other part that's great. So you got vice pliers right there with the adjustment right. Oh, we've got to have them open here with the adjustment right there. Pretty darn cool. And no, the, it really the is. The other thing I think is amazing about these, it all folds in compact just like that. It crunches down. It crunches down. And it crunches up. And it crunches up. Mind blown. <laughs> Leatherman, I don't know who came up with that, but good on you. It really is cool, man. Yeah. It's super cool. I'll bet it was Ben Rivera. He's the president over there. Smart guy. He, I think all his stuff has his fingerprints on it. He does good work. So, anyway, there's the crunch. Interesting one. I think definitely a specialty tool. I can't imagine me in my own life using this guy. Yeah. I just... It's, yeah, I don't know, nice but it's cool. Stuff. It's cool. It is. It is. Okay. Mote, you're a big gun guy, is that right? I like firearms, yeah. You have a couple. I think, yeah, I have a few. You uh, have a couple few. They, they tend to lay around. They lay around. What, All right. So these, the next group of three is a bunch of firearm tools designed for the military, designed for your AR, all sorts of stuff there. So here we have the OHT. It's the one-handed to one-handed tool OHT. So a bunch of stuff on this guy, and uh, so you got... You got a saw, you got serrated, you got plain edge, you got a couple different screwdrivers, bottle opener, all sorts of strap cutter, that sort of thing. So I think this one was designed specifically for the military, if I remember right. But uh, the thing that's cool about it, this guy, you're going to have to use two hands to open, right? This guy's one-handed tool to get to those pliers. As soon thing. as Mote gets them all we'll closed. close it up. So many features. So many good features. That's the best part about <laughs> locking it. Locking saw too. Yeah, we like the locking saw. Bam, like that. Show them how it works. Okay, I'm not. I'm not particularly good at this, but like, just like yeah. that. Spring-loaded pliers too. And that's a nice feature. So you can close it one-handed, open it one-handed. I like the flip. You like the flip? Yeah, like show I, me the flip. Like, do you, do you do it that way? I what just, do you do? I can't remember how I was doing it earlier. It was something like. I'm sure if you had these long enough, you'd figure it out. Just, why don't that? There it, there is. it is. Like that. Ooh, that's nice. That's probably yeah. how they were designed. A little huh? snap to it. I like that. What else? We saw. We found something else on this though. We're oh, missing. so it had a. It has a an insert for your brush, uh, brush cleaner. And I'm trying to remember where it was. Oh, it's right there. So yeah. you remove. This also acts as a lock though. Yeah, it does. So it'll lock so that your tool won't come out. But yep. then you can remove it. There's a hole on this side though. Yeah. And you can put like a screw and brush or a cleaning rod. Or, cleaning rod. Or whatever. A punch rod. Yeah. Yep. So pretty cool tool, and I think the big feature there, obviously OHT one-handed tool. So it's interesting. A lot going on there, and it comes with a pouch as well, so you can carry it on your belt. And it has, it also has replaceable jaws, wire cutters. Yeah, it does. And the other thing I like about this, sorry, one last thing on the OHT. Some of these you don't know where the tools are. This one oh, has right. these imprints on the sides, and I think that's a nice feature, nice touch by Leatherman. So you can see that's your saw blade, that's your plain edge. That's your strap cutter. So it's it's indexed on the outside of it. So as you're opening it, you're like, all right, I know what's what's there. So next one in the lineup. These are uh, this one's an interesting one, Mote. This one's complicated. It's so complicated. It's the mutt. So out of the gate, you got partially serrated. You got a saw. This is a carbide tool. Is yes. that right? Cleaning everything. And then what did you call that one? Uh, that's a takedown punch. So you takedown can use punch it to push your pins on your ARs. There it is. There it is. And these are all locking, it's a locking blade, external 
which is nice. And then when you get down into it, you got a pommel there, use it to hammer things. You got a strap cutter right there. A whole bunch of tools like, this They're is like, hidden. it's almost like a treasure hunt. Yeah. You just like start playing with it and you're like, whoa, what's that? Yeah, Jamie and I were looking at it. It was interesting, so here's another, another way of looking at my stupidity. Uh, <laughs> Jamie and I were sitting here looking at this, and I sat here for seriously like probably two minutes, and I was like, okay, what is this? How does it come off? Like, what happens? What is that thing? And then I finally realized, I was like, mm, it's a pocket it's clip. It's a pocket clip. <laughs> like, yeah. what this is cool, because I found this out too. So there's this pin that sits right here. I don't know, can you see that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it actually holds your bits in or your drivers. So if you push one side, oh, almost like an AR takedown yeah. pin, right? But then I do this. And then it drops out. Drops out, right? That's so funny because I, I was pushing on that and I couldn't get it to work. And yeah. I was like, yeah, I don't know how that And works. then the other side, if we turn it over, there's another set. If you push it all the way through, there's another set right there. That's awesome. So then just hold them in place. It rolls so half you cocked. Have that guy. It That's pretty impressive. It. It's like yeah. engineering marbles. It's interesting. Well done, Leatherman. Well done. That is pretty amazing. And then the last thing, they've got a whole bunch of like specialty tools. They've got like a bow tuning tool. This one's specifically for the AR, right? Yeah. Rail, Rail. tool. Yep. Yeah, it's cool. Same thing, takedown pin. Um, you have a carabiner, which is nice. You can strap it onto your bag, your belt, whatever you want to carry it on. Uh, front sight post adjustment tool. Nice. Which is always nice to have. And then you have a couple of drivers here, like a Torx, a flathead, looks like you have a Phillips. A um, couple different things. Bottle openers, drivers, different places you can put drivers in it. It's, it's actually pretty cool. It's really lightweight. You're not dealing with a giant, giant tool that you have to carry around. Yeah. One thing I like about Leatherman generally, they look at a problem and then they create a tool to solve the problem. So when it comes to maintaining your AR, bam, all the tools right there. When it comes to tightening your bow or things like that, sure. bam, all the tools right there. I think they've got one for like skateboarding, snowboards, different things. They look at these different market segments and they say, what could we slot in there? What could we make to solve a problem yeah, that's there? that's cool. I like it. Okay, moving on to the next category. This is probably my favorite category of Leatherman. Not gonna lie. I like it. It's the itty bitty Leatherman. Austin calls him the Leather Boy. Should we so, start with the squirt? Yeah, let's do it. Squirt is definitely a cool little tool. I think it's fun just because it's small. Yeah, I absolutely. Mean, the little skizzers on them are, are pretty tiny. Ooh, Ben, look so, what Ben's wrote. Oh, so I've carried this for like five years, guys. <laughs> you can see the love deeply ingrained. Let's in show it. yours off. Okay, so let's, <laughs> let's show mine off. That's yeah. what it looks like brand new. Yeah, brand new. That's, that's old. Solid now, color. Now, here's the thing about this. The only complaint that I have, I like, it's the, uh, you got the tension plier. Sure. The only thing I don't like, my scissors broke, and they're actually tensioned out of the box but the tension on them is broken, Ooh. but they still work. So, and I like it too much. But How long have you had that? Like five years in That's pocket. That's impressive. Not bad, I haven't like, lost it. Look at the it. difference in that. Oh yeah, same knife, same thing. Yeah. Solid, right? Good work. Beaten. You got a bottle opener, you got flathead, and then a Phillips, and then you got a file, two-sided file, and then a knife. I love this thing, man. That, I, I've said this shows. before on Knife Bender. If I had to have one tool for the rest of my life. Maybe that? It'd be this, because I carry it everywhere. I, five years is a long time to carry something. It really is, yeah. It's impressive. It's it's a good tool. Especially so, if you work here, you'll know that it's people so rotate true. through things real quick. It's so true. So that's good on you. Thank you, man. So I like this one. You like the next one, though. I do, the Micra. I'll do a little shout out to my pops here. He has had one of these, as long as these have been out, he had one. Yeah. Um, I was telling Ben earlier, like it was like a stocking stuffer thing for me. We constantly had them packed in our stockings because I would lose mine every year. I mean, it's just what I did. I was fishing on the river, I'd drop it in, I'd look for it, and it was gone. And I never wanted to tell him, but when he'd asked to use it, it was gone, and then he'd just assume and buy me a new one. Just get you a new one. Yeah, but I mean, you have the scissor function, it's also the same thing, it's a spring-loaded, tension-fit uh, pair of scissors. You have your little little blade here, um, little flathead, nail file, nail cleaner, has a little nail nick in it too, which is nice to get them out. Um, I mean, it just has your basic tweezers. Function. Tweezers. See, that's, that's one thing I wish that the squirt had. Everybody, for some reason, you always need tweezers. You always do. Like, and you don't want to carry them in your purse, No, that's, so. I don't carry a purse. Right. Well, I, yeah. I can't speak no, for I'm just playing, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really good. Um, but I actually really like these. Same thing, nice. it has a little lanyard loop to it, so you can put it on your keys. But it's super pocket friendly. 
And it's it's got the ruler on it too, right? It has a ruler on it. Yep. It's, Metric and inches. It, it's, I think that's a home run. You think this is better than the Squirt? I mean, I like it better you than the like Squirt. You like it better. But I do wish it had tweezers. See? Yeah. It's one of those things. Like, I like the plier function, but at the same time, like tweezers are nice. Yeah. Scissors are nice. Maybe I'll look into this one. Maybe, maybe I change. Maybe we no, carry I don't want to change. I don't want to change. I don't want to change. Let's just carry both. Change. <laughs> See how it goes. Here, you show them that okay, one. Okay, next one is the style. Now, this one's interesting. It's uh, airplane, airplane friendly on this version. I think there's another version with the blade on it, but basically, you got your file there, you got scissors there, and then you got your pliers right here. Pliers and wire cutters, spring loaded, and a carabiner. The carabiner feature is cool. You like that? I do. So you can bottle open on that too. Yeah. Get the bottle cap in there and pull it open. I'm not much for the carabiner, and we can talk about really? that on the next one too in uh, extravagant Leathermans. But uh, what do we call them? Candy Leathermans? Candy Leathermans. These candy are the Leathermans. candy Leathermans, yeah. I don't have much use for a carabiner, to be mm -hmm. honest. Like, either put it in your pocket, put it in your bag, you okay. know? Sure. No, That's I can my understand thing. that. So the next one, it's kind of the same design, same basic design, called the Skeletool. And it's got that same carabiner, same basic shape as this guy. But uh, the thing I like a lot about this one, so you got your pliers, not tensioned. And the uh, thing I like about it is that blade is just slick. That's a clean blade. I think, so I've got a friend that carries this. He's a, he's a dentist, carries it every day. I don't think he uses it in his dental Yeah, I was like, uh, I'm not sure how I feel with that guy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's part of like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is part of his EDC. But uh, he loves this tool and I'm always like, man, it's too fat, it's too heavy. It's just a little heavy for my personal sure. EDC taste. But I do like the knife on it a lot. Kind of got a thumb hole opener there, 154 cm steel on it, and then you do have the big pliers. I mean, I'm I'm limited in my pliers here because the pliers are tiny, Let's man. Compare. Yeah. Let's compare. It's not even a comparison, really. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is this doesn't even give you enough hand room. Ooh, but the contoured handle I do like a lot. You like that? Yeah, that's kind of. It's also smooth. got some carbon fiber on there yeah. for racing stripes. Mm. Look at that. Like that. For those guys that are really, really. Uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Really Fast. concerned about weight? Yeah. Obviously I'm not, but like, that's... You know though, I, should we look up the weight on this guy, Mote? Yeah. Let's at the end up. of the day, I don't think you can carry this thing and be concerned about weight, because it's just heavy. It's five ounces. I don't know. When it comes to knives, that's like double what I want to be carrying. The other nice thing about this one that, that you get is you get the uh, removable bit down below. Oh yeah, that is cool. And just like that. That's the other thing we haven't talked about with all these yeah, other ones. Yeah, all these other cool. ones. The removal bit system on these to switch it out yep. is pretty handy. And I think you can get a kit of bits for a couple bucks. Yeah. I think, 15, 20. Yeah, it's something like that. And just about any bit you're looking for, right there. That's, so, yeah. Nice little feature on there. It's cool. See, and it has a pocket clip. The carabiner on this, I feel, is like more functioning than this. Than that guy? Yeah, because it's That's a little fair. bit bigger. You can strap it to your bag, something like yeah. that. So I could understand where that But if you're ED seeing it in your pocket, yeah. I wouldn't, I don't know. Or it's I can just, be the guy that has like stuff on my belt loop. Some guys do that. Yeah, I like it. It's not my style. No, but it's, it's convenient. It's fair. Okay. What's the next? Holy smokes. This is like five years of engineering and I feel like the video is lasting five years. So if you're yeah. still watching guys, thanks for hanging with us. Seriously, it's Next impressive. one, Leatherman Signal. This was brand new, I think about a year and a half ago. Very cool kind of survival camping tool. You got a ton of use specific stuff on here. So. You've got a striker, you've got a pommel there, carabiner, all, screwdriver. Removable, yeah, removable yep, screwdriver removable again. Bits. That one's locking. This one is? Yep. Yep, oh, you like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, I love that. Locking. I love that. Has a pocket clip too. Yep. Which is always nice. Now we're gonna go to this other side. We're gonna see if I remember how to do this, because Ben showed me earlier. It's, I knew how to take off the one, but not we, the other. Guys, before we turn the camera on, we literally sat here for like an hour and a half. <laughs> I'm, I'm not joking. It plays it's with true. every single one of these because there's it's so true. many features. It's like, how do you talk about this stuff? Because well, you think like you think of a multi-tool and you're like, oh, it's got a screwdriver or something like that. But no. then you start really diving into them and there's, and there's a lot of cool features. There's cool features and there's nuances to each one of them. It's true. They've really put a ton of time and energy into engineering these really well. So, And I feel like the signal's top of the line there. It is. Uh, right here we have the actual striker, right? So we're going to push down that, slide up, it disengages. There's our striker. So then the other... The actual, our actual rod we have in here. Now let's see if I remember how to do this, Ben. You got this, Mote. So that slides yep, pull up. Pull that over, oh, open them up there. That was impressive. You see that? Yeah. That was impressive. Maybe it makes up for my other one. Probably not, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, we have our striker here. Um, it, it's it's a cool little feature. Ben, show us what else this does. Should we, should we strike it? We should strike okay, it. Okay, we're striking it. Hang on. There it is. There it is. 
But it has another feature, yeah. and I like this feature. Motem lost in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't go. That'd be way too far for me to walk. So we're good. Like a jerk. <laughs> I hate you. It is what it is, fellas. <laughs> I'm the guy that pulls up to the hunt and I roll in in a razor. Like, that's how I do it. So, <laughs> this is one of those things. <laughs> oh, brutal, man. So that goes back in. Uh, you got to put that side in first. There we go. And then you just push yeah, it in. Yeah, in. Just like that. It's a really nifty. cool tool. Yeah. The, other, the other cool thing on this guy is, okay, I got to remember. He goes in like the, push him, push there him you down. Go. Push him down, pull him over. There it is. Boom. But that's also the lock for the interior tools. Which is awesome. Feet of engineering, man. I'm telling you. It's a double feature. Double feature. Yeah. Well, it's I like, like two that, movies at once. Yeah, well, I like that they kept all of the utilitarian design. Yeah. But then added those cool little features on the outside, but still didn't waste space. Yeah, totally. And you got the removable, replaceable uh, uh, wire cutters there. Yeah. Which brings me to another point with Leatherman, guys. 25-year warranty on these things which I think is pretty darn cool. So I've heard of guys breaking, not on purpose, but breaking a tool and they'll send it in. Leatherman will either replace a tool, replace that individual tool on the Leatherman, or they'll ship you a new one. Which is awesome. Pretty darn cool. Stand by their product. Yep. Dude, what's that thing? Dude, I'm finding new stuff. Oh, it's for your driver. I think you can put it there too, right? It's gotta be. Yeah. So many features. Okay, we're into the final round of this, guys. The Leatherman tread. Candy. Yeah. The tread. This, how long? The, three years ago they came Probably out with this? Probably about three years, yeah. Yeah, I remember it was, I haven't worked here very long. I've only been here three years. I'm kind of a newbie. So yeah. I remember when they released this at SHOT Show. Huge deal. And all of you fun customers were calling into us just waiting for this thing to drop. And, you know, it finally came out. We finally received it. It was, I don't know what, what took place there, but Leatherman was great to us, and they hit us up, and I talked to them at OR a little while back, and they're nice. like, hey, guess what? We're ready to ship. Let's do Coming this. Coming in. So I said, cool. I was excited because I have big wrists, big hands. So I was like, maybe this won't fit. So if you're concerned about this not fitting, look at that. Plenty of room. You got plenty. So basically you take the links off yeah. to get it to your size. Let's see if we can get that off. And it's like 40, 20 tools in one or something? Yeah, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna do like a slow pan here so Jamie can look. Can Hit we get some camera. like elevator music on this? Yeah, I feel like. Do, 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 do. Maybe some saxophone? Yeah. yeah. But there are so many tools on this. When you really start to break it down and look at this, totally. it is unreal how many things they packed into this. Phillips, and how stable yeah. it is. Yeah, totally. It's I mean this thing is built to work. So can I can I point yeah. out my favorite on this whole thing? I like the seatbelt cutter right there. It's nifty. It is nifty. Because I mean if little... you if you were in a car wreck, this is not going anywhere unless well. Most of the time. Yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's gonna be on your wrist, yeah. assuming everything is all right. You know, assuming you got on get, your body. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's where I was let's going. Let's just be real here. <laughs> but uh, I think that's a cool feature. Um, you got a glass breaker on there. It's kind of an emergency anything tool. And there's a lightweight version coming out. Did you know that? Titanium, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's gonna be a little bit of a smaller band. They also have a couple other things in the works. Uh, they have one that's gonna have a watch on it. Pretty It'll stoic. be coming out pretty soon. Swiss movement, I hear. Swiss movement, yeah. true. You're yeah. a watch guy. Too. I am a watch guy. You're an so everything man. I am. It's good. It's good. But yeah, these are definitely cool though. They definitely. And are. they we have them in black. Yeah. So that's all. The juice. Next on the list. Okay, so so Leatherman, especially in our community, the knife specific knife nut true. community, they get a bad rap for their knives. Now here's the deal. I think the knives on their tools are just fine. When they go and make an, a knife exclusive, sometimes you guys complain. Now. I think this is going to be an exception to that. This is a new one. It's called the Juice uh, B2. And basically it's just a, it's a, almost a sway back pattern, traditional folder. Slip joint, so cool colors. It's going to ride in pocket, no frills. Straightforward. No, I, I think you were, you hit the nail right on the head because I, I remember these coming out. I remember seeing some sort of backlash. People were sure. like, well, I'll just carry my Leatherman multi-tool. Well, sure. I mean, that's nice, and I love the Leatherman multi-tools, but every now and then, you know, maybe you're at a dinner setting or something like that, sure. and you don't want to pack a big Leatherman on you, don't want to put it on your belt, you can carry something like this. Totally. You still say brand loyal, right? Yep. Um, but I think the color combination is cool, and like you said, the blades are, they're definitely a cool design, and they've done a great job of keeping it real minimal. Yeah, absolutely, but. absolutely. Leatherman candy. Last one on the list. 
They make a whole bunch of these things. This one's called the Bruiser. Yeah, this thing is awesome. I love Just it. Just little can opener, pry bar. Yeah. Something you can throw on your on your keys. Yeah, and auto wrench. Yeah. yeah. It's, I don't know. They make a bunch of these, and they're all like under ten bucks. Fun little things. So, Leatherman candy category. There it is. Mote. We've been through the ringer on this one. Oh, here we this go. Is a long one, guys. Here Thanks we go. What would you take home? I knew that was coming. Yeah. I think if I had to deal with, can I take two? Take two. All right. Take two. I'm gonna take two. I think this. It's one. You like that guy? I do. I okay. like being able to play with it. I like that it has everything that I need in it. Yeah. It's not too complicated. And the other one's my micro. Okay. I'm not giving it up. That's fair. You can have it. Your turn. Do, do you know what? I think, which one was I looking at? It's either the the wingman or the <laughs> sidekick. And I think it was the sidekick. And I'll tell you why. It just feels a little better in hand. And I like the, this has the... Tools on the outside. Well, this one's partially serrated. I'm not oh, a partially serrated man. You uh, are? No, I'm not. Oh, I was like, no, no, no. That's that was not, that's not my jam. That's okay. not my jam. All right, all right. That's my jam. This is the guy I would take home. And that has a cool looking blade too. It's similar to it the skeletal blade. Yeah, but I don't know. This has so many more features than the skeletal. And you don't like the carabiner. And I don't like. The, I don't need a carabiner on there. So there it is. That's what I would take home. And then and this. So I already, I already have him at home. We don't. <laughs> He's mine. You've already adopted him. <laughs> already. We're good. We're good there. I signed the papers on him. <laughs> Oh man, Whoa. guys, let us know in the comments. If you watched all the way to here, let us know in the comments which Leatherman you would like to take home. There it is. Mote, I feel like we ought to, if you've watched this far, there ought to be an Easter egg. What should our Easter egg be? We're making it up on the spot. You ready for this? I don't know, like I don't know. Here's what we're gonna do. If you've watched this far in the video, we use this thing so we can't sell it. Okay. Should we give it away? Uh, Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. Let's do it. If you are a true and loyal Knife banter watcher, you've watched all the way to the end. We need some sort of secret. Let's do a little secret. On the end of your comment down below, put a, uh, just write signal. Oh yeah. That that's will good. be our secret for those guys that have watched all the way to the end. Just write signal and you're entered to win. We'll do a drawing with it. And we'll rock and roll it. Here's the deal though. What's the deal? If they get this, whoever wins it has to use the whistle. Without washing it. Without washing it. And they have to play a song on it. Ooh, I like that. I like that. And you gotta post it on YouTube. Done. Done. I like that. So that is the that is the trick, guys. Just at the end of whatever comment you make, you can say Mote's shirt is awesome or I hate that that Ben guy, whatever you wanna say. <laughs> Just write signal at the end, and that will be the signal to us. Yeah, I like that. That you watch to the end and you're entered to win the Leatherman signal. Because we can't sell it now. We, I've blown on it. We've made fire with it's it. used. There it is. Guys, thanks for watching. If you watch all the way to the end, we do appreciate it. We have a lot of fun with this stuff. Mote, thanks for hopping on this episode with me. I fun. do appreciate it. And uh, we'll have another episode of uh, Knife Banter coming out in a couple weeks. We've got another video coming out next week. We've got new videos every week, so make sure you subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you next week. stuck in my head so much but so my uh my head. nephew's serving his mission in the philippines and i guess in the philippines they celebrate christmas during every month that ends with burr so september <laughs> november and december so he said like christmas would be amazing yeah yeah sorry september october november december. I, like that. I like that yeah <laughs>